even a drunk crow. Cause he would stiff up for drunk crow. Then he gave him the man fuck anything. He would stiff on him one fuck. He no want a responsibility. He no want nobody a call him. Nobody business about him. Nobody care about him. He no want none of them something there. But enough people now look on it that way. There. And then, true enough people now give themselves time. Them just move from one man to one man. Because they must say, as one man gone and next one come and all of that. They now give themselves time. So I'm on a 40 and 50. I'm still a search. I don't want to search for. Search yourself first before you try to search for somebody else. Enough of you don't know yourself. You have to learn yourself. Learn who you are. Do you know who you are? Do you know what type of person you are? Do you know that when you don't have any money, you get moody? Do you know that you don't like a dirty place? Because you have some people that's comfortable with living under any um, conditions. A lot of people live under some nasty conditions. Like, you know, them can't sleep with a person and the person must stink and them don't tell the person to say them mouth stink and them still kiss the same stinking mouth person. And then them go back and go tell somebody, say... He might stink, but yet still are you and that stinking more person up on the internet. So that I don't know how to suck out tongue because you try to prove to somebody say you can kiss a man. But you kiss a stinking more man and you still a complain. So that is not the man fault or your fault. You understand? It might sound a weird. But it's the truth. It's always gonna be the truth. Just like some man. He want a woman in a female yard to know him have in house pump you know. But he not check on the woman and say boy, you know. The woman have a smell that come from her underneath, you know. Her underneath have kinda of, it have kinda of, you know, a fishy smell. I hear a man say him like when the front smell fishy. What you mean? Any woman will have a fishy front. Something is wrong with that front. So you have to take time out and know your partner. If you're there with a man and him thing a leak, when you go to you look in him and in him underpants in boxes are, you know, two different colors in a leak. Something is wrong. Because you know, you know, feel stiffness, but then I know that I itch itch every minute I want to find on self I feel I got a doctor every minute I want to nah, go to the man and tell the man say something wrong why you think enough time some man and some woman continuously have in the same fucking STI because they are going back to them same partner through them know some of them take out two or three um, man them now nah, go to them partner say I got a doctor and this not right you know and whatever 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 you are going to need to go check out yourself too, you know. I get a prescription and them, them say, forgive me, partner. So, me and you are doing something and really. No, for you, no. You know, fuck too much. You know what I mean? Every woman don't deserve to get head. Every man don't deserve to get head. So, I'm going to do heady, heady. So, I'm going to fling on the mouth everywhere. Too much. On the mouth, now have nothing about it. Like, as you see somebody so on the mouth spread out. That's why enough time when I see someone on the boy, I DM the girl them. I want to DM the girl them, I tell the girl them, I want to do with them with the mouth. You feel like say, you turn on the girl by telling her, so you want them, her. It's a big turn off. A girl will fall for you and open up to you and open up to do things with you. If she not like you, you tell her about you want to eat her. Just meet her by internet and within half hour you tell her say you suck pussy and your mouth are the best mouth and lele water you will make run down in her and one more thing. She not got blood clot like you. She got to say, ew, everybody in your mouth. How can I rank in mouth boy this? How can I earn him out boy this? And lick your chip. But you just feel like say, that you have to use to get little front from a girl because you say you love me. See? Just like a man I go ask a girl, so um, you're not freaky. I don't ask a girl if they're freaky again. 
I grew up past that stage there. I want to ask a girl, how you stay financially? What you do with yourself? What you plan to bring to the table? Because woman always ask man where them can bring to the table. Me ask woman now where you bring to the table. Because we're supposed to have a union. It's not supposed to be one sided. You're sure of me about your Bridget, or you're sure of me about your the, the nice long ear, them 70 inch down her back. You're sure of me. When me sure of you are, skin out and give me a short. Eh? And that alone you have to bring to the table. When that are the easiest thing to get. Let me tell you, it's not price, not depth and pussy again, you know. I don't want to, I don't want to feel like it, you know, like one time things change, options are out there like nothing. Pussy are the easiest thing to get. Are the easiest thing to get right now is pussy. And if you don't want to live with no woman, you can't go get pussy. Because all, them, all the world set right now, enough people don't want to live with nobody. Because them have chicken we season up now I sell a supermarket curry I sell a supermarket porridge all you have to do are just at it up I sell a supermarket them have ready make dumpling a supermarket them have everything ready so you don't need nobody you don't want nobody to come show you don't. you just go up on YouTube and Google anything so if you say you're going to live with somebody right now you have to like the person while you have some people, like for instance, you know, a foreign, people for want to feel like them family oriented at certain time of the year. So when Thanksgiving comes, they want to get a one man or they want to get a one woman in the house. Your house or your home or your little one room or whatever you want to call it, that's your sanctuary. Your sanctuary is a place where you don't invite everybody. Everybody know if you come in your space. Your space where you rest your head. And you saw you unwind. And you saw you strip naked. And you saw you, and you peace this. And you sanity this. The whole of you something this. You don't want everybody in this. Like some man. As them here say a woman a nurse, him ask what kind of work you do and the woman say, you know I'm a nurse. There is levels to nurse thing. No for them a think about the dollar, the dollar sign. Them not think so when them sick, the woman can perform CPR. And if she have got put pressure upon up on, up on the wound, and them something, they them not pre that thing or them just pre chiching dollar sign come up, oh blood clot, me girl a nurse. Whoa. No for one in a no say the woman where you say a nurse. Only thing she do a job blood. She job blood. She know the basics. So her salary not really up there like that. So when you hear she says she's a CDA, you have her that names, you know, and bigger. Like in England, them deal with bonds, you know, bond five and bond six and bond sevens and all of that. So it go by 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 levels. So no found no. Feel like when you hit the jackpot when you hear the woman and the nurse. Move no blood clot. You don't need to think if you have a nurse, a nurse don't get panic if something happens to you. Like for instance, if you're going into cardiac arrest. If you have an acid reflux. You understand? So there's many levels to this thing. So, I have a little sense in a people. I have a little sense. And I try to listen when a lot of people talk. I am well, I'm, 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 I'm always open to listening. Because when I listen, I learn a lot. And I applaud every female who is independent. I love independency. When you're independent is one of the biggest, 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 biggest thing for me when you're independent. Because through me grow up, see my mother not depend on people. It's like, I love a woman who stand out. You're not for 15. Because enough times I see some woman at 15. And when I realize, say, them don't see the hype for nothing. Like, them don't go look good in a party. Like, I remember one time 
a woman like me, see? And she tell me be a nice things and me, me end up and like the nice things that she had tell me. Until one night my gossip mama sent me a video call her. And she didn't take the call. She reject the call. She told me that I had to warn her before I called. When she said that I had to warn her before I called, I said that woman here have a problem. Because if you have blood clot in your bed, you're supposed to have a bonnet on your head, no makeup, no nothing. And if I'm willing to look at you without all of this shit, that means that something is right. But when you ever tell me, say, me have to warn you before me call your video call. You have to put on your face first. You have to put on your face first and put on your wig and put on your everything right away. Me just know, say, you are not the one for me. That means, say, you're a woman who are going to put on your makeup when you're going to bed. I better me see you when you dress up and not look good. Because remember, say, me don't see your picture up on the internet when you dress and look good, you know. I want to see you now when you don't look good. I want to see you now when you don't look good. And that me want to see when you don't look good. I want to see that. That's why I say self-esteem is a big thing. Easy 592 five, bless. So how oh, you feel in a your bed at 12 o'clock at night and a dally up? I don't understand how that works. So I have to pay attention to these things, you know. I have to pay attention to these things. I understand you come from work, you work from a hard day's work, you know. You work from a hard day's work and you know you're, you're tired and you say you're going to lay down a little bit and then you go and take a shower. Bam, you fall asleep without showering. I understand that. I understand that. That is very understandable. A woman or a man work 9 to 5 and them they won't get for bed. Because, you know, sometimes you work some furious hours and you're just dying for reach home and let her off a load. Not even your dinner, you're there to eat sometimes. That's a strong, independent person, man or woman. You work very hard and just no say that's what you want to say. Sometimes you just sleep all in the living room. To how tired you are. But most people don't know that. They have never been through anything like that. They have never ever been through anything like that. You understand? So I applaud people. What's up chocolate goddess? I applaud hard working people. I applaud you all. I always gonna talk about Miss Kitty. You know? I always gonna talk about her. How Miss Kitty expresses herself, many people don't like it. Princess, big up. Many people don't like her because she expresses herself maybe too vulgar. Because she didn't mean so word when she saying a lot of things. And one of the things that rubbed me wrong was when a lot of people tried to say, Miss Kitty can't breed. Miss Kitty can't breed. And Miss Kitty now nah, no pit me and Miss Kitty this and Miss Kitty that. When I hear those things, as a man, I realize a lot of educated duns are on the internet. A baby or a child is not an achievement. It's a responsibility that you're going to have to put a lot of time, patience and sacrifice in. I am a parent. It was a great joy for me to get two kids one time. But I had to put a lot of effort and a lot of time. People who don't have no children, you have to set yourself first 
before you decided on having children or having kids or whatever it's going to take a lot of time because when you look many mothers are out there struggling to feed one much less tree remember when you live in one household one bread will always be one bread it have to share education is a bigger achievement than anything in this world because you educate yourself to emancipate yourself from mental slavery when you educate yourself the world is at your fingertip when you educate yourself I'm telling you now on the internet everybody needs to influence your kids that education is a big 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 thing is a big thing a lot of us do not feel like oh everybody want to be chopper now and a girl want to tell people say I'm not chopper when Bob Marley did say emancipate yourself from mental slavery and none but ourselves can free our minds we are the one that hold down ourselves I am a man I have friends who always used to say they want how much pitney. And those same friends who said they wanted how much pitney are saying that them back so them get so much pitney. Because when you're a responsible parent, it's going to cause a whole heap of stress by you. It ago cause a whole heap of stress. Because you're financially not stable. And you can't give the whole of them this, the time what them need. The one them were in a yard, I go get more love than the one them were out of road. I mean, now nah, I go stop say that. Miss Kitty can have her children them whenever she feels like. There's no time limit. Some people you have to talk about how oh, my biological clock a tick. I'm a fertility something. I got that and this and that and one bag of something. I see people bash Portia Sims to say she don't have any children. But how many other accolades Portia Sims have? Education is important, but you can be successful without. Education is very important, but a skill is more important. Remember, you know, a skill is very important. Having a skill reign supreme is very, 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 very important. Teach your kids to, to learn a skill. And remember, you know, we, we, most of us passed the worst already. Right? Amen. Most of us passed the worst already. And if we have kids already, we want our kids to live better than us, right? We want our kids to have what we didn't have. Like for instance, I didn't go to high school. Financial reason why I didn't get to go to high school and further my studies. But my kids then go to high school. My son got a primary call and my daughter got queens. You know what I mean? So it's like it's a joy to me if you say my youth them already surpassed the worst. And I am thankful each day to see them go outside and work. They are not dependent on me. I am their father, but they are living their life individually. I'm just there for still try to guide them through whatever advice they need. You know what I mean? That's why I always tell people, say your address doesn't determine your final destination. A lot of us hold back ourselves. Don't hold back yourself. I'm going to tell you this. Everyone who's from Jamaica, get yourself a passport. You can't just live in a Kingston and just one day in a Kingston alone. You want to leave and go to some different place. You want to go see the world. I would love for every youth in Jamaica to go and see what the next foreign country is like. Because you see, true enough of us don't learn responsibility. 
it I go hard. It I go hard. It I go hard. Enough of us never learn responsibility ever. We never enter a partner before because enough people don't understand this about partner. Teach your kids that saving and partner is good. But remember, when you get your draw, you have to throw back for other people to get draw. That is what will mash up the partner if you don't show. Enough people don't understand this. So you have to teach the youth them about saving. Teach them from $5 to $10 up. Teach them that if them save $5 a week, and if it's four weeks in the month, it's 20 dollars them going to have. So eight weeks they will have 40 dollars. You know what I mean? And four more weeks and that and that eight week. You know you're gonna have a next 40 dollars. See? Eight more weeks for eight weeks. And next 40 dollars. So you count and you count and you count and you count. And at, any, at, the, in, at the end of six weeks, you see what you have. Because it's so we have to have things. And if one we born with gold spoon in our mouth and knife and fork, some of we have to buy with one spoon. Some of we have to buy with one fork. Some of we still don't have no table. Because you hear them say, don't prepare a table before um, in the presence of my enemy. Then if we don't have no table, now we have to create with own table. Remember when we see people table, we don't forget red eye. It's supposed to motivate we. Because remember, it's easy to catch bad mind nowadays, you know. People table, nothing make we feel grudgeful and bad mind and envious. It's supposed to motivate we. Like, if me go and miss Bison Yard, and I see Miss Bison drapes them, it's supposed to say, I like them drapes there. I need a drapes like that. Where buy them drapes there? I like them. This is how you motivate yourself more than get bad mind. It's supposed to motivate you. We need to use other people and push yourself or propel yourself. You see somebody with a fridge or a microwave or whatever. Where buy that microwave? I like that TV that you have on your wall. I want a TV just like that. A motivation that you give me, you know. You give me motivation, you know. You gave me motivation. I like how that um, the, 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 the um, fabric softener that you use on your clothes. I like how it's made. What's it called? Where did you purchase it? Kemlani Mart? Bash Cup? Mr. Chin? Dungalees? Mega Mart? Where you buy it? Price Mart? What's the name of it? I like it. I, want, I would love my clothes to smell like that. So you use these things to motivate instead of get bad mind. I just that would we would just feel like we're too entitled. Remember now all our family have no will, you know. My family never have no will, you know. Everything on me have me work for that, you know. I mean I have nothing. But me satisfied with what I have. I am satisfied. A lot of us are not satisfied. Big up everybody who is comfortable in the skin that they're in. Some of us saying we want to go to Paris and we want to go to Dubai. But when you finally reach at Dubai, you still ask for fucking fried chicken and curry goat and axe steel. Those fucking things don't at no Dubai. No axe steel and a curry goat are there at Dubai. They are going to have pasta and lasagna and salmon. They are going to have them thing there. Yes, everywhere would have like a fried chicken like wings. Then we have them something there. But them not have no blood clot fried chicken and them not have no brown stew fish. Them not have them something there. So you have to broaden your horizon. Open up your mind to try new things. You're willing to try different sex position. You're willing to bend up in a S, tie up arm, peck people, put you in a gag, put handcuffs on you everything, but you're not willing to try a new meal. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that. How about that? How that looks so? But you're willing to get choked the fuck out. You're willing to get choked the fuck out. You're willing to take it in your ass. You're willing to take it in your ears. You're willing to take it in your nose. But just true, the people them have no rice and peas. And you know what? You're not getting the oxtail gravy. You don't know where to order. 
Open your eyes, people. Open up your eyes. And sometimes people think them raise them bar too high. I don't think you raise your bar too high. Many times you're not gonna have a lot of people on your level. You're not gonna have everybody on the same level as you. Yeah, chin, me know a man. I nah elaborate on the choking and it. You know what I mean? I'm just talking about like, you know, food stuff. As you hear about choking already, boy, I tell you why I don't like you. That's why I can't like you, boy, God no. Like for instance, you know, a lot of people living in America have never been to Red Lobster before. A lot of people living in America have never been to Olive Garden before. Like all the night, like tonight in Olive Garden. It advertised on the TV all long enough. A night like tonight, you have to wait all 45 minutes, them give you one number. So you have to outside and wait. Or you have BBQs and them place there, where they are all in a Queens. Or Rose Dale, them part there. See? Half of the belt. A lot of people have never been to these places. They have never. Just like how you have. Golden Corral, I don't know if you still have it. These are places where, you know, when you just go far and you go to these places. You have a lot of people living in the Bronx, so they're living in Queens, and they have never been to City Island. They have never been to City Island. Never, ever, 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 ever. They have never been there. I've been to BBQs, them, them look bread, them look cornbread. It tastes good. Zane, I'll know nobody's salad bowl still don't beat Olive Garden. Zane, I'll know. I want to go to Olive Garden, I say. Remember, these are places where you have to just go try, let's step out. Because I see it advertised on the TV and I say, hey. I want to tell you this. How me stay? Me hear a girl open her mouth one time and say she can't wait for you to foreign because she want to eat some good food. Jamaica, the girl living on. And the girl says she want to reach a foreign for her to eat some good food. Hear ya. <laughs> Remember the way you hear me talk about my God. My God, my hear mama. My God. So that's why I can't talk. So experience teaches a lot of wisdom. When I hear the girl open her mouth and say she can't wait, for go a foreign for go eat good food. Me don't know what she mean. I don't know what she means. I don't know. Because in Jamaica you have a wide variety. Bad mind ching ling a ling. I don't know what she means. I don't know what she means. I go to England and I go to Brazil and all you can eat restaurant. And when the people them go sub and come around every minute, I don't know what I do the people them. The people them just come around so every minute. So when you don't want them to come back, you put up the something so for them stop come. I say I can't get a chance to eat the food good. At this so I want to carry some hungry girl. Because since I don't want to eat man, I want to carry the all you can eat place them. Can you go there go see how much uno say uno can near me out? I say me there the place. I'm sitting in this Brazilian restaurant here. And the people I'm just come in and I smile every minute. See them I put up on the table, bam beef, bam this, bam that, bam this, goat, fowl, cow, everything. I have to say how many them people in a life. What happened? I go to the take out the fuck and put at the people that come again. I don't know how to do them in a life. I don't know what I do the people in my life. Me and the people have nothing the people that kill me beer food. Beer food the people that give me no. Mr. Wade, hold on. What do you the people you have? I don't have nothing. Eh? And then just a smile like I say. You know? And I smile. So where are the people you have? I like them people like me. They don't like me. 
Them just know that them hurt them at all. Them not like me. When I do a roll, them a roll me out of the place to have my belly full. Roll them a fair roll me out there. You out this. Just that talk and I get nice and the life cut off. People, I have to come on back. Come like Rita Mali. I have so much things to say right now. Yeah, Misha. Big up yourself for your new band. Lord's mercy. 